activating mental immunization for COVID-19. A time for solidarity, not stigma. Today, all eyes on efforts to develop a treatment to immunize people against the COVID-19. The novel coronavirus is not the most aggressive pathogen that disease fighters has ever faced, but is fast and elusive. Our strategy for fighting it must be as novel, agile, and global as the virus itself. The battle starts in the lab, but it will be won or lost in the delivery. While we are waiting for a COVID vaccine, let's not forget to activate our mental immunization from inside out. Even though we are living in difficult times, our future is still bright. As an expert in social science, in particular educational technology, I have continually explored what I can do to unleash our spirit to fight against COVID-19. In this talk, I would briefly offer the finding for my current research to make these ideas a reality. As a full-time lecturer at Ascension University, I can share my experiences in two aspects. As number one, a current higher education situation, and two, an idea to activate mental immunization for COVID-19. According to UNICEF around the world, the COVID-19 pandemic is overstretching health services. Medical goods are in short supply, and transport disruption have left supply chains fetching historic strain. Consequence in activating mental immunizations happen when it comes to life post-pandemic. Mental health pay the magic impact mental health will have a major impact regarding what is happening during the pandemic for people today and beyond it will really be a problem in general consequently stress behavior for many many people bring a lot of problems the mental health warning signs throughout the population become obvious even we can see the downside of the COVID-19 curve in June. As a serious matter of fact, countries are now facing an additional threat, a long period of economic instability. The history from World War II reported that people with death got rheumatoid, cardiopathy is correlated with unemployment. Actually, it was not just correlation. Causation was established we know that stress kills, first of all, because it provokes two things, vasospasm in the vascular system and immune depression. The suspension of immune system. The priority is to act now to address the mental health needs associated with pandemic since there will be anonymous long-term consequence for families communities and societies as the researcher the mental health consequence need to be studied seriously and ensure that the impacts of study should widespread availability of mental health support Many experts came COVID-19 as a back swan event, while some experts deny this idea because COVID-19 is only a gray rhino event. A back swan event is an event divided as unpredictable, having severe consequence and so-called hindsight bias. This is because COVID-19 is the catarism that has caused great economy hardship and that could not have been foreseen. Policymakers can therefore use data 
for this crisis to plan for future crises. Institutes should learn from what has worked best and make it part of their value permanently. COVID-19 is a great rhino event, an event that is high probable, with a high impact and yet negative. A gray rhino event is not random, but occur after a series of warnings and visible evidence. First, the consequences are without a doubt severe, both for people and the economy. The COVID-19 pandemic is very much a predicted event. If we compare crisis caused by the virus to the financial crash, of 2008, it is really different. COVID-19 is a real phenomenon that cannot be explained. The only common characteristic of the two is it shall pass and our economy will recover. For the education part, it was happened that online learning done via interactive application or live online classes. 5G technology is, has become a more prevalent system in many countries. Colleges, company, unite to help with a better education. A digital division also mentioned that less digital savvy families could be left behind. The technology part, the car capacity, is an essential means for a remote home-based workforce. Machine learning, this is a powerful tool that can help to understand the disease. Virtual experience, virtual reality technology allows people to travel and communicate while at home. Desktop, laptop computers, they already become more useful for students than the smartphones. The fast-moving nature of the COVID-19 outbreak means many short-term conclusions rapidly become outdated. It doesn't mean that we should not devise long-term preventive strategies. Part of the finding of my current research has found that majority of people agree that every nation must fight strongly against COVID-19. An idea to activate mental immunization for COVID-19 as the roles for higher education. Comprise of growth for students, co-creative model, remedy of the commons, thriving in balance. Growth for students, the friendly learning environment of online learning will connect to a better quality of traditional classes on face-to-face -face mode. This is because both aim to support the growth for students. The focus will cover not only the updated contents, but also the appropriate context. Higher education will expand its umbrella to cover reskill upskill that overcome the crisis of the outbreak. The free online short courses will be available more than before from all over the world. Co-creative model. In contrast to a free market model, institute will offer more opportunities and support to all students to create and cooperate for the curriculum than before. The community demand will transform to be new subjects. Our students encourage to co-create and innovate a new way of learning. Students should not study any subject for just in case. The industry and business sectors will be involved more in the higher education to contribute to solve the problem through project-based learning or problem-based learning. Remedy for the commons. 
the trend for a remedy of the commons will eliminate an exploration of the commons. Strategy to deal with current challenges are be kind as students and their families will remember how institute support them under pressure. Be digital as this will not be the last gray rhino or black swan. Be aware as recovery in the higher education will focus more on future strategy such as environment, social and governance. Potentially shipping from short-term benefit. Maximization. However, it cannot be reached to the triple bottom line sustainable economics model of people, planet and profit. The next phase must only put people and planet first. Thriving in balance. The moment of life have changed to balancing the mental and the physical. A sustainable economy and well-being together with natural resources based upon humanity's wisdom will be a major goal. All of these challenges present an opportunity for innovation, not only creating vaccine formulation, but also how to take the best care of active mental immunization. Together, we can unlock the pathway from imagination to implementation. Thank you for your attention.